Welcome to Deep Dives with Divas. We broadcasted this show in Leesburg, Florida with Lois Jean Sawyer Hunter Bolin. She is a survivor of 13 years of marital domestic violence, but she is a serial entrepreneur. She will be sharing her challenges and her entrepreneurial passion with us right after these messages. with divas glad to see you're back i'm diva and today i have a woman with me that i am so honored to call a friend she's my biggest fan no matter what has gone on in her life she has always been there for me please <laughs> welcome my mother lois jean sawyer's Hunter Bowling. Welcome to my world. So this, this is your world. <laughs> this is my world. This is the world that oh. I have been so in love to serve yeah. for, what, three decades? Well, at least from 79 and forward. Oh, yes. And I've learned it from you. Yeah. <laughs> The audience has already heard that you are a survivor. Ooh, I had to. <laughs> Tell us how you managed to survive domestic violence and raise a daughter single-handed. Well, my daughter raised herself. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> the, um... Surviving physical violence... Yeah, I don't know if any of your audience has had uh, physical abuse. Oh, yeah. You probably know that or will understand when I say you just kept questioning, why? Why is he doing this? Um, okay, okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do right. I'm going to be better. I'm going to... Whatever, and nothing was enough. Never enough. No, it wasn't enough because it really wasn't me. Oh, there it is, audience. It wasn't me. There it is. And so you bravely took on raising a daughter by yourself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Moving us. Oh. From pillar to post. Mm. <laughs> Making it happen. Yes. I can attest that I never wanted for any... Well, I never needed anything. That's I never true. wanted anything. Not anything. Right. So, it was a challenge. I know. But yeah. I'm proud of her. Mm -hmm. Because I learned that it was not acceptable through her. Right. <laughs> Remember, 
Avon, because I built doll houses with the boxes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, insurance. Yes. You introduced me to Amway. That was yes. fun. Yes. That was a good, Amway is a good learning thing to teach you a lot of things that you should have learned in kindergarten. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I still use some of the tools and the education that I got from Amway yes. in my business. So, yes, Amway was a good thing. Mm -hmm. And we got to do it as a family. That was great. Because I remember Ebony was very little. That's Donna. She oh, she calls her Ebony. Ebony Donna. Donna. <laughs> and she was very little, and so she was proud of it. Oh, she was, because she went on trips. But Deontay got to go skiing. Oh, yes. And, <laughs> yeah, he, he wondered about the Murphy bed. No, Shandara wondered about the Murphy bed. Oh, that's the granddaughter. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, we have to take care of that. But anyway, <laughs> that, me, that was from you, Let me tell you about the Murphy bed really fast. Okay. Uh, there was a room that had a Murphy bed at the hotel. Tell the audience what a Murphy bed is. A Murphy bed goes up into the wall so that you have space in the floor during the day. And then the Murphy bed comes down at night. So you have a bed. And so the children really enjoyed that because it allowed a lot of play space. Okay. Soft play space. And my granddaughter remembered the Murphy bed. Did she? Yes. Yeah, because they they were they kind of put the children together with the older yeah. children. And they just played. That's they all they did. Time. We gave them money so they had chip monies to play the arcades yeah. and and then they came back and, and beat each other. And with all that was car. an Amway, right? Oh, Amway. That's, <laughs> like I said, it's a definitely a learning experience. And, and a family. It's a family. Family thing. business. Yeah, yes. that's good. How long have you been doing real estate? Since 1987. So it will be soon be, what, 30 years? Wow. Yeah. And now you moved to Florida and you're still connected. With the business? real estate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never give it up. Yeah, getting ready to buy house number six. So why is, what is it? Why is entrepreneurship so much of a passion for you? Um, let's see, why? Hmm. I don't know. I Well, well um, usually it's a good product or a good idea. Okay. And since I like people, then it's really easy to, you know, talk to people about it. It's a good product or a good service. And so it's easy to talk with people about it. So that's what I do. I talk. Okay. And um, people know me as someone who sells stuff. So they just say, okay, what are you selling now? Well, you were in um, ITC. Yes, in the beginning it was called International Toastmistress Clubs. Okay. And then it became International Training and Communication so that the men would feel comfortable joining. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's why they renamed it. Okay. And then they named it PowerPoint. No, not PowerPoint. Power Talk. It's now wow. Power Talk. Wow. And that is so that we can have workshops and short courses like six week courses and 13 week courses and teach the students and teach groups of women you know the career women how to speak and carry themselves in public and start workshops and they also teach you how to make money with workshops ah. power talk Yes, and watch for my commercial. I'm having a workshop on April the 6th. Speaking of workshop, mm -hmm. shameless plug. Workshop mm -hmm. on April the 6th. So watch for my commercial, and it's being posted on Facebook. It's an event on Facebook, and it'll be going out constantly. So watch for that, and I look forward to it. There's only a few spaces because it's a VIP experience. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be one-on-one, -on -one. and I'm actually going to teach you step-by-step how to have a workshop and make some money. So look for that. Sorry for the statement, Shameless. That's okay. Do you dream of having a workshop? Is the idea of having a workshop 
burning a hole in your soul? If you answer yes to either one of these questions and would love to make money doing what you're passionate at, then you should register today for my workshop workshop. It will teach you unique branding. It will structure an agenda for you and teach you how to fill your seats. But today gives you just one more day before the early bird bonuses are up and there are only a few seats left. So go right now to a workshopworkshop.com and register for the early bird special. I'll see you then. So you have moved to Florida. Mm -hmm. Last year, she decided she just had to move to Florida. I mean, like right away, like three months or something crazy like that. Why was it such an urgent thing? Because it was going to snow in Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> and I was not going to be there. <laughs> I wasn't. Why Florida? It's my daughter, my sister's fault. I always get them mixed up, my sister and my brother. Um, it's my sister's fault because she came down and and hung out with Ruby, her sister-in-law, in the villages in Florida, and um, she came back home and said, "The villages is where you're supposed to be." She said they are very busy. They get involved in a lot of things, and you like to dance, and I said, well, you're right. And I dance every and night. And I dance every night, 365 days a year. So, she uh, moved to dance. What a life. <laughs> <laughs> so that was about July, and in September, she booked a flight for us, and we came to Florida so I could see. And then I liked it. So in March... My girlfriend and I drove down to see if there would be a place that I could rent because my sister said that I should come down and rent instead of coming down and buying right away. And um, I found out it wasn't too bad. I couldn't live in the villages per se, but I was close enough and I had a really nice place. Yes. So I. Um, and we are broadcasting from her place today. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And it it's um it's very large. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's actually three bedrooms. I don't know why I thought I needed three bedrooms, but <laughs> I figured it would I could bring all my stuff and all my flowers. And we could come in and visit. And be place for people <laughs> to visit. And it would be good. So that's what we're doing. Yes. Yes, we that's are. what we're doing. But but you have a contract on the house. <laughs> You that was put awesome. a contract on a house. Yes. She got more nerve than I did. I have place to have to have a place to live and I'm not I really don't like paying other people's mortgage. Mm -hmm. I'd rather pay my own. Okay. Oh. And so I'm now looking to um settle in June and uh actually in May. And it looks like it's going to work. Okay. Mm. Wow. So I came down. Was it yesterday? The day before Easter yesterday. Easter Sunday. I came down Easter Sunday. I drove down Easter Sunday. Yeah. Because she has a passion that is putting her hands in the dirt. She loves plants. Oh, my goodness. You will see some pictures of some plants that she took from Georgia uh, New Year's while she was in Georgia. And she brought them to Florida. And it has not been three months. They were dead when she brought them here. And they are fabulous. So I made a small slideshow so that you could see those. She apprenticed for... Blondine. For Blondine. And Blondine. Blondine. Mm -hmm. And Blondine's company is called? Simon Seed and Simon Farm and Seed. I don't Simon, know. Simon, Simon Seed. Simon Seed and Farm or Simon Farmers. 
place is gorgeous. I don't care what it's called. It's yeah. gorgeous. It's really nice. I got to eat loquats. Yeah. Look, loquats. It was right good. Right off the tree. Right off the tree. Just rub it on your clothes, clean it off, pop it in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, well, you don't have to. Wash so, it off. You work with Blondine mm-hmm. at her organization, her company, mm-hmm. her her store, her, her shop. Her, yeah, her shop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do that give you any more encouragement to do what you love to do as a business? Well, one of the things that she would say is, why are you still here? It's after three o'clock. <laughs> and I say, yeah, but I wanted to do so-and-so. I wanted to get that done before I left. And she said, okay. She just found it, start, stop leaving me alone and just let me do what I was doing. Mm-hmm. And she loves, absolutely loves you. She has... Volunteered to be a reference for her for her, her new plant business. So I came down to help her build a mental foundation for her plant business. And she already has some potential customers. Yeah, I already have some customers. Oh, she already has some customers. Yeah. Miss Williams, Mr. Mitchell, okay. and uh, Cheryl that we met today. Oh, okay. Because Cheryl, know. Cheryl's planting the flowers, oh. and I'm going to go check on them in two weeks. Okay, that was, that's the picture that I took. Okay. Okay, so mm-hmm. I'll post a picture also of her. I'll read that client. How about that? In a day. In a day. It can happen, and it can happen to you, too. Come to my workshop for an hour. You should be the bulletin board icon of living life to its fullest. I love you, and I so thank you for sharing with my wonderful fans that no matter when, no matter why, no matter how, that you two can be successful. Thank you. You're welcome. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for being with us one more time, and we'll see you next month, first Friday of the month, on Deep Dives with Divas. Good night now.